Hello, everybody. Welcome aboard. It's good to see you guys. Uh, we've had a lot of new people coming into X-Plane uh, with the release of X-Plane 11, and I've had a lot of questions about the camera system and how do you move the camera around the cockpit? How do you set your views up? How do I get that awesome wing view that, that people seem to love? So I wanted to take a few minutes here to uh, walk through the camera system in X-Plane 11 and show you how to set up your various presets in a couple different airplanes and how to get those how to get those fantastic little wing views going um, that, that we so desperately love to see. So uh, the first plane that we're going to run with is the default 172. Uh, the techniques that I show you can be used in pretty much any airplane out there. And then the second plane we'll go through will be the default 737. So as we sit here at the beautiful Lufker Spadaro Airport on Long Island in the 172, uh, we're looking down from an outside view. So I don't have any views currently bound. There's nothing, nothing set up at the moment. So we're going to basically start fresh and kind of work from there. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is get the view inside the cockpit. So in order to do that, we're going to want to press Shift-9. So I like a lot of consistency between all of my airplanes. And as a result, I set up the views exactly the same from plane to plane. Um, because I fly so many different planes, it helps me to sort of keep things straight and make sure that everything is always, uh, always where I, kind of where I want it. To set views within X-Plane, we're going to use the numpad. So the numpad controls what view we're, we want to move to, what view we're looking at. And in order to set one of those, we're going to hit control and then a button on the numpad. So with this default view here, I like to set this to numpad four. So I'm going to press control and four and nothing will happen. But rest assured, this is now set to our, uh, our uh, numpad four. Now to move the camera around within X-Plane, we're going to use a combination of the arrow keys. So arrow key up moves the camera up, arrow key down moves the camera down, arrow key right moves the camera to the right, arrow key left moves the camera to the left. And then period goes forward, comma goes backwards. One of the other things that we can do is press and hold the shift key and then press those same buttons and you'll see it goes a little faster. So there's forward with period, backwards with comma, right with arrow right, up with arrows up. Now, remember we set that default view to keypad number four, so I can go ahead and press that now and it's gonna take us back up to the spot that we were just at. Alternately, if we were down here, we could also press shift nine and it would do the same thing, but it would be a little, you know, a little more kludgy. And um, it's, you know, it's harder to press shift nine than just keypad four. So the second view that I like to do is I like to set my co-pilot view up. So I'm simply going to press the right arrow key and I'm going to move it over until we're just about centered on the yoke here. The yoke is turned off. I'll turn it on for you. Um, I'm going to press control six. And so now this view is set up on keypad six for me. So I have pilot on keypad four and co-pilot on keypad six. So I'm just going to walk you through now the rest of the views that I like to set up. So I like to have a couple of wing views. Um, so we'll, we'll come here, go to the left side in the, in, the, in the rear of the plane, we'll look out the wing, and we'll press control 7. And that's going to be keypad, that's going to be view number 7. And then I'll come to the other side here, and we'll look out this side, at the right side, and I'm going to press control 9. So that's going to be on keypad 9. So I can go 4, 6, 7, 9. I'll go back to 4. Uh, I like to have kind of my GoPro view. So I do a behind the shoulder GoPro view that sort of looks out over the, looks out over the cockpit and looks out uh, the front window there. I like to put that on keypad number two. And then moving forward, I like to have a little dashboard view that looks out. We get to see the prop and what's in front of us. So we're going to put that on number five. So that goes to keypad five. So now we have four, six, seven, nine, two, and five. So we'll take that back to number four and we'll leave it there for a second. Uh, within with this plane, it gets a little bit less complicated because there's like there's no overhead panel to worry about. So normally I would set my overhead panel to to keypad eight. Um, since there is no overhead panel, I'm just not going to bind that. But I will come in here and get a nice close up shot on the radio stack, um, paying close attention to make sure I get the GPS in here, and I will set that to control three. So that takes care of all of my internal views. So now I can I can I can easily switch between all of these. I can go from one to the other and pan around the cockpit without really any issues. So next time I always set up two outside views. Um, so we're going to go to view, external, and then we're going to go to circle. So this will take us outside the plane. We'll scroll in, zoom in a little bit here. I like to have one that looks right on, right onto the plane. I try to get the camera as low as I can, but in this case, it's already as low as it's going to go. So we're going to do this and we're going to press one, control one, and then we're going to pan all the way around to the back of the plane. We're going to look at it from the back, and I like to kind of pan this one up a little bit and maybe out a touch, and we're going to call that zero. So control zero. So now I can do four, I can do five, I can do six, I can do three, I can do one, zero. And that's an easy way for us to kind of get around the cockpit and to be able to uh, manage those cameras within the Cessna 172. 
So this plane is pretty basic, this plane is pretty simple, and uh, it's really not too difficult to set up, and you can do this easily with any of your general aviation planes. So next up, we're going to jump into a different plane. We're going to hop in the default 737, and I'm going to walk you through setting the same cameras up in that airplane. So now we find ourselves in beautiful Boston in this default 737-800. Uh, once again, we have no camera views set up for this plane. We're going to go ahead and start from fresh. Uh, this one's going to require a little bit more work on our part, though, because um, to set the wing view up, which is what a lot of people, again, want to see, uh, we have to kind of go hack a config file. There's a little bit more work that's involved because we're sort of locked into the cockpit, but we can easily free ourselves from those restraints. So we're going to set the first few views up, and we're going to set them up the exact same way that we did in the Cessna. So we're looking outside, down at the plane. We're going to go ahead and press Shift-9. That'll take us inside the plane, looking at the pilot's view. Now, one thing to note is down here in the bottom, we see the nav display. Um, we can't see the whole thing. So I want to make sure I can see that entire screen as well as the multifunction uh, in the primary flight display or MCAS or whatever this thing is called, ECAS, I don't know, Boeing's, whatever. So we're just going to bring the camera back a little bit here and we're going to bring it up a touch and I'm just going to bring my mouse down. So I'm basically making myself a little bit taller uh, in order to see this, in order to see this properly. So this is the spot that I want to have for my, for my pilot view. So I'm going to press control four. That's going to go ahead and bind that view to our, uh, to our keypad four. And then we'll scroll over here to the right and we'll do the same thing with the co-pilot. We'll get this all nice and centered up here, about right there. And we'll press control six. So now we have four and six. I need to set the uh, MCDU up. So we'll zoom ourselves in here on the old FMC, the box, the MCDU, whatever you want to call it. That's pretty good right there. We'll do control three. And then I want to set the overhead panel now because we actually have one of those. So we'll kind of bring ourselves back a little bit bring ourselves over. We'll get the panel nice and centered up here. We want to basically see just the panel and not really, um, not really anything else around it because I want to be able to read all of the buttons or read all the labels, I should say, and hit all the buttons. So that's pretty good. So we'll set that to control eight. Now I want to set my fun GoPro cameras up. So we're going to come back here behind the, behind the pilot, sort of maybe come up in the cockpit a little bit, look down across the cabin so we get a nice view there. And we'll set that to number two. And then finally inside the cockpit here, we'll fly over using our shift period key and our arrow keys to put ourselves on the dashboard so that we can see out the front here. And we'll set that to control five. So we have four, six, overhead panel is eight, kind of behind the shoulder is two, five puts us on the dashboard, and then three sets us down here on the FMC. Now, I suppose I should also set the outside views up as well. So we'll do that by going to view, change to external, and circle. We'll tighten ourselves up here a little bit get ourselves in nice and close, get the camera as low as it goes, and we'll press control one there. And then we'll come all the way to the back of the plane, bring our camera view up a bit, try to get it as nice and centered as we can, maybe pull it back a touch so we can see the, uh, all the control surfaces and we'll press control zero. So we have four, six, eight, three, two, five, and then zero and one. Now, I wanna set my wing views up. Now, if I go inside this airplane, what I would want to do is bring myself all the way back into the cabin, but I can't because they've put a wall here. And they put a wall here at the door as well. So we're going to kind of, uh, we're going to have some fun with this. We're going to hack it up a little bit, if you want to call it that. So what I want to do is I want to set some, just some, some initial views here so that I have um, seven and nine in my, con in my con config file. So I'm going to press control seven and control nine right here. This is not the view that we're going to use, but for another time being, this is, this is now seven and this is now nine. So this is where my wing views are going to be. Now I'm going to go ahead and exit X-Plane. So I'm going to give, give X-Plane a clean exit here by going to File and Quit. And we're going, to load up, uh, we're going to load up the config file in a text editor. So we'll be right back. So within your X-Plane 11 folder, you want to open that up in Explorer. And you can do this in the Mac as well. I'm, just, I'm not sure the folder structure there. But we're going to go to Aircraft, Laminar Research, and we're going to open up the Boeing 737-800. Now down here, we're going to have a b738prefs.txt file. You want to open this up in WordPad if you're in Windows. So we're going to go open with WordPad. And you want to open it in WordPad because it'll give you the proper, uh, it'll give you proper line breaks here and whatnot. Notepad just kind of has a tendency to screw all that up. We have this file open up in WordPad. Uh, this, this particular file stores all of our camera locations and all sorts of miscellaneous information about this particular airplane and how we have it configured within our simulator. So if we look through this file, it's a whole bunch of gobbledygook. Not a whole lot of stuff's going to make sense, but we will find some lines that say something like PEX1, P2, 
P-E-Y-1, P-E-Z-1. And that's going to have some coordinates on here. These are the X, Y, Z coordinates for that particular camera. So this is camera one. This is camera number two so on and so forth. Now what we want to do is find seven and nine because those are the ones that we set up earlier. And the goal is to take this camera and move it just a little bit outside the cockpit. We don't, we don't need to move it far outside the cockpit. We just need to move it a little bit outside the cockpit, sort of free it from the constraints of that invisible wall that they have created for us. So we'll find number seven and we'll see that seven is located um, 0.85 minus off the X axis, 1.2 off the Y axis and uh, point, you know, minus one, five off the z-axis. I don't really know what any of that means. I don't really care to be perfectly honest. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to, uh, I'm going to change the x-axis to minus, let's say minus five. And I'm going to do the same thing down here for number nine. We'll change the x-axis to minus five. And this is really just me kind of guessing. Um, I'm thinking that that's going to be enough to push us outside the cockpit. So we should be good to go. Uh, so I went ahead and saved that file. We'll close it up. We're going to reload the simulator, get back into, uh, get back into our 737, go to Boston. And we'll see if what we set up worked. So we now find ourselves back in the default 737. Uh, we're in our four camera view, the very, whoops, the very base one that we want to start with here. Now what I want to do is press 7 and see where did it move us to. So if I press 7, we were inside the cockpit and now we're actually outside the airplane. That's fantastic. So we can do the same thing that we've done with our other views now. I'm going to press the shift button. I'm going to press the period button. I'm just going to very slowly move this, move this view out here. Um, there is no fuselage model, so you'll kind of see it all being blank like that, but that's okay. But what we want to do is set our view to about right there. I'm going to press number control number 7 on the keypad there. And then we'll do the same thing for, uh, for our, our, our right wing view. So I like to set the left wing view in front, and then bring the right wing view all the way to the back of the plane. Very, very, very slowly. So I'm pressing shift period and right arrow key right now to get this moving a little quicker. And we'll come back here to the back of the plane. We'll press control number nine. And there we go. So we can now go four, six, eight, three, two, five. We can do our two outside views, one and zero. Come back inside the cockpit. Then I can go to seven. I can go to nine. And that gives us our lovely wing views. Um, gets us free of the bonds of the cockpit. And allows us to uh, allows us to show off our plane in many different directions. So, uh, thank you guys for watching this. I hope you found it very helpful. Uh, hopefully, it answers some questions that are that exist out there about the whole camera system. And uh, please do tune in Twitch.tv/catstrader. We're live on Friday nights at seven o'clock Eastern Time, eleven o'clock GMT, and uh, we look forward to seeing you. Take care.